hello everyone <coughs> welcome to my youtube channel so today we'll discuss about the, the reading a data sheet topic so far we discussed about uh, critical reading and uh, creative reading and reading algorithms and uh, taking notes all other things and the reading uh, subtopics only one more topic comes as uh, reading a data sheet so reading a data sheet plays a very important role usually uh, if you are a student of mechanical engineering or uh, civil engineering especially while uh, attending few problems you might be getting some data sheet or a data book right why you get that because there are a lot of standard standardized values are there and uh, instead of doing the experiments in the laboratory we can refer those data sheet in order to solve a particular problem so because they are some standard data so uh, not only in, as a researcher you should not only have uh, the uh, ability to do the review of literature all those things or whatever so far we discussed but also you should have some other skills also if at all your research demands any reading a data sheet then you should be having that knowledge also right so researchers in different fields of engineering will need to read certain types of documents for example mechanical and civil engineering should need to read uh, drawings related to the mechanical parts or building and buildings which are very highly constant or uh, you know optimized parameters then researchers in the field of electronics need to read the data sheets okay for a different different uh, what is the energy gap what is uh, what uh, uh, Oh uh, no! What is the uh, you know capacity or uh, capacitance? That this anything any electronic parameters is related to the particular materials, maybe semiconductors, conductors or insulators and all. And then on occasions, uh, researchers in other fields may also need to incorporate a certain electronics parts. In which in which case, careful reading of the data sheet is very very important or imperative. That means when you are using, uh, if you are not as uh, if you are not from mechanical engineering or civil engineering or electronic engineering if you are from some different background also like biotechnology or maybe cs or anything so when you are going to uh, use any electronic parts or any kind of materials which are related to the mechanical engineering civil engineering or uh, enc or electronic engineering then again the data sheet or these drawing books all all again you need to how you need to incorporate uh, those particular things i mean what you say you need to uh, understand all these things in order to incorporate those uh, certain electronic parts in your particular research so the same principles like initial skimming of the data sheet are required to ascertain whether the further careful reading is needed or not you need to see whether the uh, uh, this data sheet is require uh, reading requirement is there for a particular my research or not that is th that you should see and then based on that you should take a call so data sheets are draw instruction manuals for electronic documents they will act as a what are data sheets this is a definition that's the definition of data sheets i'm explaining here are nothing but instruction manuals for the electronic components so which have hopefully details what a component does and how one may use it okay these are all details will be there not only the their parameters and their characteristics or iv characteristics or any other uh, this thing but also how to use it and how they how they can be used and what are the different components are involved in a particular device everything will be mentioned in that so data sheets enable a researcher or uh, maybe the working professional to design a circuit or debug any given circuit with that component so whatever the information is required to design a com uh, particular circuit you can have from there the first page of the data sheet usually summarizes the power functions features and basic specifications so usually first page of this particular data sheet will have the basic uh, uh, requirements or basic uh, terminologies like maybe the functions features or basic or specifications all those things usually provides a functional block diagram with the internal functions of the part what are the different, different internal functions are there based on that uh, of the particular uh, part of a particular part if they will see so data sheets usually end with accurate dimensions of the packages a part is available in so often definitely uh, in a particular device if the a number of uh, components are there the data sheet will have their dimensions and all so this is useful for uh, pcb pcb means we are having printed circuit board layout 
So you might have seen the in a ANC oriented circuit boards and all, right? So it will have that uh, you know very aligned, uh, very small, 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 small devices, right? Microelectronics and all. So those are called as printed circuit board. So when working with a new part, when you are working with a new part for a particular research, or when deciding a part to use in the particular research, it is recommended to be carefully read that part's data sheet. That means specifically that part, whatever the part you are using, and that data sheet uh, should be read to come up with a bit of shortcut. Okay, that may potentially save many hours later. Definitely. Uh, if you are not reading or uh, referring the data sheet, without data sheet, if you go further, then you might miss something, and that might lead to you, uh, you know, the waste of time that can be saved. So, as already stated, the engineering researchers will have documents to read which are specific to the branch of engineering in which one is researching in. Use data sheets as well as. Uh, to state, uh, obviously, uh, use data sheets as an example to state the need to pay the attention to the art of reading such as documents so technical publishing papers or books are not only the uh, contents that the researcher should read but also he has to master reading uh, the data sheet also so that was that was about uh, the reading the data sheet so next topic we are having giving credit to wherever do that we will discuss in the next class